class 7 students welcome to the class of civics today we are going to start with our first chapter of civics which is significance of a democratic government learning objectives universal adult franchise how is an election conducted coalition government election the rule of a political party in a democratic state let's warm up look at these pictures and name the given personalities do this by yourself. A. Identify these persons. B. Which countries respectively do they belong to? C. Mention some features of their governments. Application skills. Read about it and write it in 100 words what you think could be the basis of inequality in these situations and why did they prevail? Racism in the United States of America. Since the times dating back to the colonial era in the United States of America, the white people were given more privileges as compared to other races and minorities. These privileges included education, immigration, voting rights, citizenship and many more. Other people such as immigrants from Europe, groups like Jews and Arabs, Africans and Asians faced continuous discrimination and as a result some people who belong to these groups were not even identified as white. Back in that time, African Americans were treated extremely unequally and were sold as slaves in the United States. They were denied even the basic necessities of life. One such example showing the discrimination they had to experience while traveling by bus is this that they either had to sit at the back of the bus or get up from their seats whenever a white person wished to sit. This led the people to revolt and start movements such as civil rights movement. Then in 1964, the Civil Rights Act was passed that criminalized any kind of discrimination on the basis of race, religion or caste. Universal Adult Franchise Democracy is based on universal adult franchise system. This means the right to vote is given to all adult citizens of a country without discrimination based on factors such as region, religion, caste, gender, property, language and educational qualification. The value of the vote of citizen, rich or poor, literate or illiterate, man or woman is the same. In India, universal adult franchise is the basis of representation at all levels of government. All Indian citizens who have attained the age of 18 are given the right to vote. Thus, universal adult franchise establishes and ensures political equality. It secures a truly democratic government and makes the government accountable to the people. Election In India, elections to the parliament and the state legislative assemblies are held every five years. The Election Commissioner of India is responsible for conduction of free and fair elections. It is an autonomous constitutional body which was set up in 1950. The Election Commission is a three-member body headed by the Chief Election Commissioner. He is assisted by two Election Commissioners. All the three members are appointed by the President of India. The Election Commission announces the dates of the elections and code of conduct to be followed by all political parties and also announces the result of the elections. At the end of the election, the commission submits a list of the successful candidates to the president. The election commission also prepares the voter list before the elections takes place. The voter list contains the names of all the people who are eligible to vote. The commission then issues the electoral photo identity card to all the eligible voters who are required to carry it when they go to cast their vote. Voting in India is done through a secret ballot. This means that the vote cast by each voter is kept confidential. Election process. India is a constitutional democracy where regular free and fair elections are held. These elections determine the composition of the two houses of parliament. The states and union territories, legislative assemblies and presidency and vice presidency. For this, a notification is issued by the president of India. The electoral process begins as soon as the notification is issued. Constituencies For the purpose of election to the Lok Sabha, the country is divided into 543 constituencies. 
or small divisions. A constituency is the geographical area that an elected candidate represents. Constituencies are created on the basis of the size of the population. Every constituency elects one representative. There are some reserved constituencies from which only those candidates belonging to the scheduled caste or scheduled tribes can contest elections. Types of elections. Through elections, the citizen elect members of the parliament and state legislatures. In order to conduct an election, the country is divided into different divisions called constituencies. In the loop, Prem Bihari Narayan Raizada wrote our constitution. Born in the family of calligraphers, he learned the craft from his grandfather, but he wanted his name on every page and on the last page, his name along with that of his grandfather. The request was readily granted and he was given a separate office in the constituent assembly. The elections which are held for the state are called assembly elections and even at the local level elect the panchayat members. How is an election conducted? The elections are supervised by the election commission which is an independent body. It is headed by chief election commissioner. The chief election commissioner announces the date of election and ensures that election are done smoothly. The commission prepares a voters list which has the names of all adult citizens in the country. A photo identity card has been introduced by the election commission which each citizen has to produce in the polling booth. The parties choose their candidates and they fill the nomination papers. Once the candidates fill the nomination paper, these are sent for scrutiny. Once the scrutiny is done, each candidate is given time to withdraw his name. The candidate and their parties begin to campaign after the withdrawal date is over. Campaign is the process by which candidates persuade the voters to vote for them. Each candidate represents one party and the party is represented by a symbol. The candidates hold public meetings, take out processions and explain to the public their principles, ideals and promises which is known as the election manifesto. These manifestos tell the public about the party's commitment to the national and international issues. The campaign stops 48 hours before the polling starts. The polling booth are kept in strict supervision. Voters use their right to vote by casting their votes in the secret ballot system. Recently, electronic voting machines have been out into use to count votes secured by each candidate. The person who secures the maximum number of votes is declared as elected and the party which gets the maximum number of victories candidate forms the government in the Lok Sabha or state legislative assemblies. The role of a political party in a democratic state. Political parties play a significant role in democracy. These are organized groups of people having a common goal. The political parties contest in elections through their representatives to form the government. The party which has maximum number of elected candidates forms the government and other parties forms the opposition which is equally important in a democratic government. It shapes the public opinion and safeguards the rights of citizens by keeping a watch on the ruling party. Opposition parties also described as alternate government. Allocation of symbols. The election commission approves and allocates election symbols to all political parties. While allocating symbols, the election commission makes sure that no two political parties or independent candidates have the same or almost similar symbols as it may confuse or mislead the voters. The given images show symbols of some political parties. The first symbol is of Bharatiya Janta Party. This one is of Samajwadi Party, Trinmool Congress, Indian National Congress. The opposition. After elections, parties that are not a part of the government form the opposition. The opposition plays an important role in a democracy. It monitors the functioning of the ruling party and ensures that it does not misuse power. It does not allow the government to become dictatorial. It highlights the various challenges before the government to which the public opinion can be generated. Different party system. Countries around the world have different party systems. 
These are broadly categorized into one party or one party, two party or bi party or multi party systems. In some countries, only one political party exists. This is called one party system. In such a system, the voters really do not have much choice as all the candidates belong to one single party. One party system is not very desirable as the single party might become dictatorial. One party system exists in China. United States of America have a two party, also called bi party system. After elections, one party forms the opposition. In a two party system, the voters have less but clear choices. Moreover, as both the parties are aware that they can be replaced easily by each other, they work hard to look after the welfare of the people and win their support. In countries such as India, Pakistan, Canada and Australia, there are many political parties. Voters have a wide choice and they can choose from among several candidates belonging to different parties. This is called multi-party system. In such a system, while numerous political parties claim to represent the aspirations of different sections of people, the voters are often confused. Sometimes after elections, no single party gets the majority to form a government. Two or more parties come together to form a coalition government. In India, there are two categories of parties, national and regional. National parties have a base in four or more states, while regional parties contest elections mainly from their respective states or regions. As on 2nd September 2016, we have eight recognized national parties, namely All India Trinmool Congress, Bahujan Samaj Party, Bharatiya Janta Party, Communist Party of India, Communist Party of India Marxist, Indian National Congress, Nationalist Congress Party NCP and National People's Party NPP based in Meghalaya. As on 23rd September 2021, there were 54 recognized regional parties of which Aam Admi Party, AIA DMK, Asom Gana Parishad, Biju Janta Dal, DMDK, Janta Dal United, Jharkhand, Mukti Morcha, Rashtriya Janta Dal, Samajwadi Party and Shiv Sena are quite popular. On the same date, the unrecognized parties numbered 2,796 in the country. Regional parties are important as they are concerned with the welfare of their state or community and they know their needs best. Through these regional parties, the central government gets to understand the situations in the various region. Coalition Government In a multi-party system, a single party sometimes may not secure the majority required to form a government. In such a case, some parties join together to form the government. Such a government is called a coalition government. The biggest party in the coalition lead the coalition. Before joining the coalition, parties hold discussions and agree upon a common minimum program. This program outlines the minimum objectives of the coalition government. In India, coalition government was first formed in 1977 with the Janta Party forming the government as a result of the merger of many parties. In the 13th Lok Sabha of 1999, a coalition of 13 political parties led by the BJP known as National Democratic Alliance NDA formed a government at the center. The United Progressive Alliance UPA was the ruling coalition in 2013 with the Indian National Congress as the leader. A coalition government has some advantages such as it represents wide public opinion by representing different parties. It adopts a consensus based approach that avoids political confrontation. It has its disadvantages too. Such a government is prone to disagreements and conflicts among the allies as their basic ideologies are generally different. This might lead to sharp conflict and delay in implementation of some people-friendly policies of the government. Think smarter. What is more important in a democracy? All citizens should have equal voting rights or all citizens should have food, clothing and shelter. Value and life skills. On reading the chapter, you must have realized that the discrimination among the caste or religion communities is still prevailing. What steps can you take at a citizen's level to make the people aware to not support discrimination among people? 
do you think that the people can ever understand the importance of treating everyone equally recapitulation the institutional forms and processes associated with democracy include universal adult franchise election political parties and coalition government universal adult franchise gives the right to vote to all adult citizens of a democracy in a democracy country elections are held at regular intervals in india general elections are held every 5 years the election commission of india is responsible for holding elections in india in india there are three types of elections general election mid term election and by election if no party gets a majority after an election two or more parties join and form a coalition government thank you class let's meet again in the next chapter